time to win one for the coaches, the 2011 Georgia-Florida game would be it. First-year coach Will Muschamp will make history in this game no matter what the outcome. Muschamp will become the first person to have ever played in the game for one team and coached in the game for the other. As a safety for the Bulldogs in the early 90s, Muschamp was never able to beat the Gators, and he'll have a tall task this weekend to finally get a win. But this time, it would be as the Florida head coach. While it's possible that starting quarterback John Brantley could return from injury in time for Saturday's game, the Gators' offense needs a spark to try and end their three-game losing streak. The Gators are hoping that playmaker Chris Rainey will pick up the slack. Rainey hasn't produced a touchdown in the last three games and has fumbled the ball four times. While Florida comes into this game with recent success in the rivalry, Georgia will come in with the momentum. Ranked 21st in the nation, the Bulldogs have won five straight games, but head coach Mark Rick's team needs a win Saturday to keep their SEC East Division title hopes alive. With the number one passing offense in the SEC, sophomore quarterback Aaron Murray has thrown for more yards than any other SEC quarterback to go with a league-high 11 touchdowns. And it could get even better as top receiver Malcolm Mitchell is expected to make his return after missing the Bulldogs' last game with a hamstring injury. Georgia should get a boost on defense as well. Inside linebacker Alec Ogletree returns after missing nearly a month with a foot injury. He'll join safeties Bakary Rambo and Sanders Comings, who will become one of the most productive secondaries in the SEC. One coach will be the toast of the world's largest outdoor cocktail party, but until Saturday, the champagne is on ice. For Sports Illustrated, I'm Maggie Gray.